I wasn't expecting this. Look at the snow. <laughs> it's May. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm not really, really ready for uh, winter to return, but since it's here, I'm gonna make the best of it. <laughs> Wow. It's really beautiful. The last time I saw so much snow in May, I think I was about six or seven years old and we had a snow day. <laughs> but since then, I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> Look at it all. Wow. I take back my earlier moaning. This is absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe it. <laughs> And there are lots and lots of gorgeous images here with the uh, with the snow. I just oh, it brings a tear to your eye. <laughs> Whoa. truly amazing. There's so much. <laughs> Only in Canada. <laughs> All right. I have my, let me get it, 50 millimeter macro and my tripod. And I'm going to see what I can get of the flowers covered in the snow. They're, uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, we'll see we'll see <laughs> oh beautiful all right let me be your in mind we will be fine the beads for this dream it's bright enough out here that I don't need to use the tripod but I probably will just lean on it a little bit. Oh, I've got myself at minus 0.5 of an exposure value and that way if I need to brighten it up I can but uh, the danger with snow is losing some of the detail in the uh, in the very bright whites. So minus 0.5 ISO 400 F6.7, 1 125th 1 of a second. Uh, yeah, it's moving around because the light does change a bit with the snow. Let me clear every path, my dear, we will steer you through the sun. That's where courage lies When you're busy growing up Know that I'm right here But everything is messed up And it feels like no one cares Turn this way Let me clear 
there's a lot here that I can do. Um, the biggest challenge is just getting in the right position to get the flowers and the snow because you kind of want half and half, you know? You don't want the flower to be uh, completely obscured by the snow. So uh, that's a bit of a challenge. Also, um, yeah, just again, working on composition because macro is beautiful on its own, you get details and so on, but you need to get a good composition and uh, playing with that f-stop to make sure that you have just the right amount of, amount of depth of field. So I'm going from F4, F3. So I'm going from F2.8 to F11. It's really hard to tell on the back of the screen what I'm going to like best. If you go too low, what ends up happening is The petals of the flower may be in focus and the stamen, the, the middle of the flower, will not be. And uh, that's not my preference. <laughs> looks like the snow has stopped. What an adventure. <laughs> Who would have expected something like this in the middle of May? Okay, well, <laughs> I'm hoping that my camera is as uh, weatherproof as it claims to be. And I'm not actually sure how much it claims to be, but I have many times gotten this uh, camera wet. <laughs> and uh, I try not to let it actually get soaked. But my video camera I have under a, uh, a rain hood and oh, it's a beautiful day. I don't know if it's uh, planning to keep snowing or if that's it, but I'm gonna go inside and process my images. And I hope that you all are having a fantastic day. I don't know <laughs> if it's winter where you are or if it's summer or if it's spring or fall, but uh, take advantage of what you've got. I mean, there, this is one of those things that we can't do much about. We can just uh, work with it and, and capture the beauty of what we've been presented. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's a good, motto to live by these days especially so guys if you haven't subscribed already i would love it if you would and uh, thank you so much for all of your comments and your well wishes i hope that you're all doing really really well and we'll talk to you soon bye guys